aided by former U.S. Army General Michael Flynn, who was the U.S. military's top spy master, deployed a classic canary trap maneuver against these spy actors and their journalist abettors and that is a method for exposing an information leak by giving different versions of sensitive information to each of several suspects and seeing which version gets leaked. The main bait deployed in this Trump Flynn canary trap maneuver, this report notes, was through an innocuous telephonic conversation General Flynn initiated with Federation Ambassador Sergei Kislyak after the Obama regime had placed sanctions on Russia and that General Flynn correctly detailed the substance of but is stating, it wasn't about sanctions, it was about the 35 guys who were thrown out. So that's what it turned out to be. It was basically, look, I know this happened, we'll review everything, I never said anything such as, we're going to review sanctions, or anything like that. Nearly immediately after General Flynn had talked to Ambassador Kislyak, this report details, the first bird captured in this canary trap maneuver was the Washington Post associate editor David Ignatius who built his career on repeating what his CIA sources tell him, and who in his the 12th of January column wrote, according to a senior US government official, Flynn phoned Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak several times on December 29th, the day the Obama administration announced the expulsion of 35 Russian officials as well as other measures in retaliation for the hacking. Swiftly following David Ignatius into the Trump Flynn canary track, this report continues, were numerous other birds who have self-identified themselves as being from every mainstream media newsroom in America including the New York Times, who just yesterday published. Phone records and intercepted calls show that members of Donald J. Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and other Trump associates had repeated contacts with senior Russian intelligence officials in the year before the election, according to four current and former American officials. And that the Kremlin responded to by stating, Let's not believe this information. It's a newspaper report which is not based on any facts. Not being understood by the American people about this New York Times revelation. SVR analysts in this report note